My city is the shit. Charlotte, North Carolina, that's the shit right there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody try to come down to my city. Then try to motherfucking flip flop it and shit. Try to make us look fake. Shit, just cause we country don't mean we slow. To the protesters and how and the way they did things last night. To me, from the research that I've done, is no different than any other protest protest that has been going on for hundreds of years. Most of the time when you have protests like this, where people are finally fed up with what's going on with the government or, or what's going on the way we're being treated, then you're gonna have vandalism, you're gonna have looting. I mean, that's not something that I condone, but that's a, those are the things that we talk, that we look back on research and say, well, if they did it, we should do it too. They got away with it, we should do it too. So you, you don't, don't throw the blame in our face when we start vandalism and doing this, because it's on tape and it's on TV, where we can, at, the, at our fingertips, that we can pull up these protests that was done back in the 60s, that we had vandalism, we had looting, we had all of that. So you're still trying to point the finger at us, but you still want us to forget about the 60s and on back. You want us to forget that, not knowing that you paid the way for all the things that are actually going on right now. And learning all y'all tricks. <laughs> You want to be around that. Racism, prejudice, they're two different things, but they're, they're a serious issue. Why is it, why, we don't need to get this way, and it's never justified. This behind us, this is not justified. Violence, looting, it's not justified. However, the, the action that led up to this, the conversations that are not being had between people, between law, between government, between even our politicians, uh, this is not the solution. We need to have honest conversations. We need to do life with people. And I really, really want to challenge our politicians, our governors, even our presidential candidates. Let's come, let's get in the streets with people and let's really, really understand what they're saying and where they come from. And let's gain context in order for us to progress together as a nation. Why well, approach a vehicle that has nothing to do with the warrant right. you're supposed to be serving? Charlotte's my home. Everybody know me. I'm the jewel in the crown. Everybody else think they the king. That's okay. Let them be that. Let them think they running something. I'm a we have to trust our, ju our judicial system um, and trust the courts and trust that justice will be served. We do have a voice as African Americans particularly with justice. It's called voting. It's called internal affairs. All of these things are available and made for us. All we have to do is educate ourselves on what that looks like, and, and, and that takes relationships with authority. One simple solution to this whole situation, it is only simple. It's time for us to start policing the police. Listen, your voice does matter. It does play a part in voting, and it does play a part in internal affairs, particularly with our uh, police issues that African Americans and, and police, I guess that's the drama that we want to paint it uh, to be. So, uh. Something different than an internal affairs unit? Internal affairs, it hasn't worked yet. If you were going to point locally to two groups uh, that people could get involved with directly in order to have a voice in their community, what would you recommend to people? Right. Well, number one, I would say regardless of what your religious backgrounds are, the church is a safe place. Zero tolerance. If you get one occurrence, we don't need that type of person on our police force. If you get one occurrence, no more on police force anywhere else in the United States. And from there, get involved in the politics. Meet your state and your local officials. Get to know them. Go down here. I went down here to the police station today. Why? I wanted to shake hands with my law enforcement. I went down to the courthouse. Why? I want to know who's in office. I want to build relationships. We can start there and we can build relationships that go beyond just surface level and the fact that, hey, this is my one law friend. This is my one black friend. 
we can go beyond that and we can build this with the church. The church is the healing place. The church is what I believe as a Christian is what, what needs to step up and what is what will save this country. There are a lot of church people out, out here on the streets bringing hope to our policemen and building relationships and saying, you know what, today we're going to start this. We're going to bring the change and we're going to build relationships with one another and have healthy conversations. I do, Should it be different? I do believe that violence and looting is never the solution. People just think fucking shit up is gonna make it better and they ain't. The first to shine the rest are right behind me. East side, yo, don't mistake me for slimy. Not a snake, never fake. Please don't try it. Peaceful protesters, and then you just got ignorance. Ignorance is not gonna solve them. I can't lay down on the ground and put my hands out and, 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 and tell the officer I, I'm not armed or anything and I still get shot. So what do we do now?